what's up world got some crazy stuff i gotta tell y'all today uh your boy ross went out there visiting drake's fans and uh some things happened uh, i'm not gonna tell y'all what uh i just want y'all to check out the videos and y'all let me know do y'all think he need to watch his back now since what happened because you know those canadians they're gonna run with your boy drake all day any day and ross is a nobody to them um I hope he made it back safe, uh, back to Florida. Um, Y'all check this video out right now. If you've been watching this case, man, you know it's been plot twist after plot twist. But if you've been watching since Young Thug arrested, just like Rudy said, I'm going to spend her every chance I get. When the charges was first announced, everyone was quick to jump to conclusions. Young Thug is done. It's over. Whenever the RICO comes, that means they got all the evidence needed. And with everyone taking plea deals, Folks just knew it's a wrap. 11 Alive is tracking a growing list of defendants now taking plea deals in the case. Liza Lucas joins us live with more on that. Liza, Young Thug's own brother is the latest to cut a deal. They were ready to wash their hands with Young Thug. But wait, this is ATL. And like I said once before, looks can be very deceiving. It isn't called the scam capital for no reason. I know a lot of people just started watching the case with Lil Woody going viral. But if you've been staying up to date, you already know. Woody is just one of many. But what makes Woody more important is he's the state star witness. If you talking about the dude who tried to bribe me. Walter Murphy tried to bribe you? No, I'm talking about your people. My people tried to bribe me. How did you try to bribe me, Dwight? Trying to get me to tell him somebody I don't know. Did I initially? Yes. Okay. And did you understand what you initialed? That's a good question. Oh, did you? I did, but I didn't, though. Atlanta News First Rachel Aragon was in the courtroom to witness all of this. Rachel, many of the state's recent witnesses have been uncooperative. On you were, you didn't want to be here. Yes. And part of it is because of the interactions, and, and your reaction yesterday was based on the interactions you had had, not with Mr. Williams or anyone over here, but with the district attorney's office. Isn't that true? Yes. You told us when you were back there that they had been, quote, harassing you for a number of months. Is that true? Yes. That and prior to coming out and testifying, that the only person you were afraid of, you didn't want to be around, was Investigator Hamilton from the district attorney's office. Is that true? Yes. You want their gun. And, and when you say putting pressure, what do you mean? Same thing you're doing to me now. You keep putting pressure on me. So let me was basically he? explain to you what you've been witnessing. Because I know a lot of folks still still kind of confused. The state had real solid evidence on a lot of these YSL affiliates. That's why you were seeing a lot of plea deals in the beginning. But since the state had their eyes on Young Thug, they were willing to let charges go and let a lot of these dudes go home. They straight finessed the system. But it's one thing they had to do. They had to testify. A lot of folks equate testifying with snitching. Because throughout history with the mob, once they got up on the stand, they always pointed fingers. And you've been seeing a lot of that too with this generation. What these YSL bars are doing is just something no one expected. They got on the stand and went toe to toe with the state. Even the females stand solid. YSL is changing the game as we speak. These dudes out here playing with the state in ways a lot of folks didn't know it was possible. I know it's people sitting in prison right now like, man, how come we didn't think of that, man? <laughs> what everyone is witnessing in court is pretty much what they preach in these ATL streets, man. When you get on that stand, just play dumb with them folks, man. Just play slow, you know. So many folks really don't get, you know, whatever you say under interrogation, it doesn't hold the same type of weight. You gotta say it under oath, man. You gotta say it under oath. When your star witness have conflicting testimonies, it just makes the state case look so sloppy. And if you've been watching these past couple of weeks, man, the state been scrambling, trying to figure out what to impeach that they want to bring in tapes. They pretty much 
about to just destroy the jury because what they are going to ask the jury, they're going to say, well, we want you to believe this part, but don't believe that part. Believe this part, but don't believe that part. It's about to be a nightmare when the state have to explain this. Any attorney will tell you this is not how you want to get a guilty verdict, man. You do not want to confuse the jury. And with the upcoming 18 hours of recording and several hours of phone calls, man, the jury is about to be just fed up with this. This was a 10-year investigation, and this the best you can do. But the last thing the jury will hear is Brian Steele's cross-examination, and we all know that's going to be a movie. Woody and Steele. Oh, man. So make sure you hit that follow. I host this trial live on TikTok. Can't no one host this trial like a real AT alien. Big up to like academics and the rest of them, but they really don't understand the ATL politics. I mean, he couldn't even believe Future is a bigger artist in Atlanta than Drake. So, I mean, it's just certain things they just really can't tell you about, like, unless you're really out here, man. So, Smash that follow, man. Hit that like. Y'all stay tuned. The next trial date with the jury will begin July 8th. Be there, and I'll see you there.